Hey guys, it's Dan, and a lot of you guys have been asking about dynamic and static levels. Many of you are kind of confused on how they work and how they operate, so today I've kind of compiled all the information I know about it, and I'm going to be sharing it with you guys today. Just do bear in mind that yes, it is a little bit complicated in a sense. It technically is very easy, but if you kind of never heard this type of concept, it's a little bit difficult to understand, especially now between the static and dynamic levels. So I will do my best to explain them. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So I think the first thing I need to explain is leveling. Surprisingly, a lot of people don't even know about static levels. Basically, static levels have always been in game. That's why if you were playing Mirage and all of a sudden you get a little window popping up saying, oh, that you're a level one, two, three, etc. A lot of people have thought, oh, maybe it's just because of the way how I was playing or the, how many times I spoke to someone or maybe someone gave me a level. No. Basically the way how leveling works, every hour you spend in game Mirage will be equivalent to one level. So that's why one thing I want to just point out, level does not mean that you know the game well. You can see a person but with a very high level and have the IQ of a pineapple. But you can also have someone with a very lower level who really know and understand the game. But now kind of tying it back towards the whole dynamic and static level, basically the way how leveling works this works for both the static and dynamic you need to spend one hour in game so does that mean oh you know you played 49 minutes in mirage well now i can't get a level because i played for 49 minutes well no because basically the way how i think it works and based off my knowledge of coding i guess you could say is that in the background of the game there is a internal clock that counts how long your character has been in game for and it will add it to basically a certain variable adding up and tolling towards a 60 minute or it depends on the seconds i don't know how many seconds are in an hour but let's just assume it's minutes one minute is added to the variable once the variable hits 60 it will reset and give you a level however you got to just keep in mind that you do not need to just spend a full hour in game straight to be able to achieve the level if you play the game for about like you know example 45 minutes and then you log off the next time you play mirage you just need to play for about 15 more minutes and then you'll get a level up it does not mean you need to spend one hour in game each day to be able to attain a level you know it's not that oh i play the game for 55 minutes i have to get off my computer now i'm going to be lost of a level no you just need to hop in game again and it will pick right back up and about five minutes after that you'll get that level that's kind of the basis for the whole leveling system that's basically how static levels work now and that's why if you head in game now that's why some of these static items are going to be kind of uh given already to you guys for those who are above the certain level of the requirements for your weapons and the same thing kind of goes for dynamic levels so the only difference between static and dynamic is that dynamic levels are everyone is starting at zero whereas static levels you have people starting at level two all the way up to 150 all the way up to 360 all the way up to 1532 however again for summer in 2020 everyone's on an even playing field for the start for the dynamic levels so the way how dynamic levels work is exactly the way how normal levels work you need to spend the one hour in game to be able to achieve this however your static level and your dynamic level are counted separately so say that you join the game and your static level you already have 30 minutes on so you need to play for 30 minutes to be able to get a level that does not mean after 30 minutes you will get a dynamic level it means that's now 30 minutes counted towards your dynamic level so by the time you level up for your static that means you will need to spend another 30 minutes to be able to get a dynamic level now the huge difference between the static and dynamic level is that dynamic levels are not here to stay they are of course only here for the event and that's why you see some level requirements all the way going up to 75. There's no need to rush to be able to get in game and try to get all these items. There's no real big reason to farm levels either. Because in all honesty, if you're a person who's able to spend like upwards of like two hours per day, you'll be able to get it definitely before the end of the two months. So I hope that was a little bit clearer to those who kind of just did not understand how the leveling system works. Again, it is based off a one hour period. However, that does not mean it starts from the moment you join to the moment you end. It picks up the moment you leave or the moment you join. Once again, dynamic and static levels are completely separate in terms of their counting. 
as in static levels will count for an hour dynamic will also count for an hour however their start times for the most part will be separate that's why you will see yourself leveling up and then 20 minutes later you could get a dynamic level so if you guys like the video make sure you give it a like to help boost the analytics if you did not like the video or just did not understand this make sure you guys comment down below and dislike the video make sure you guys subscribe for more flash storm content and again if you have any other questions put them down in the comments i'll try my best to respond to almost all of them i did put up two new videos showing off all the new submarine items i'll be putting that at the end of this video but this has been dan and i'll talk to you guys later